Oh, okay, Larry. Larry, we have to yeah. go. We'll be checking in with you again a little bit later. Oh, all right. Okay, take a break. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, in their search to discover the secrets of existence, physicists have investigated the structure of protein, the inner workings of the atom, and the paths of the distant stars. We believe, however, the real uh, the real key lies elsewhere, perhaps inside an 80-ton hydraulic press. First, we brought you the magic, the excitement, and the drama of mashing things with the steamroller. Next, it was tossing valuable items off a five-story tower. Well, tonight, in this machine shop somewhere in New Jersey next to the TikTok diner, we're going to be crushing things with an 80-ton hydraulic press. I think you're going to enjoy what we have planned, probably learn a few things as well. So settle back and get ready for fine entertainment. How about trying to crush something really tough? Well, this is the toughest thing we could think of, of course. Uh, TV's Mr. T. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Free. Some kind of snack would be good. So you're interested in a snack about now. How about the popular crackers and cheese? says loving like something from the hydraulic press bathroom tissue well you know if it's fun to squeeze it's really gonna be fun to crush okay boys run for your lives <laughs> Let's see what we have here is the new mini pack for vacations and camping <laughs> I want to see one of those big hamburgers of course, the problem with these new uh, giant burgers is you really can't get them in your mouth too well. So let's just, just press it down a little bit. Something within reason. Just a reminder, folks, it's raccoon season, so when you're out driving on the country roads and highways, be awfully careful. I want to see a padlock. The maximum security padlock. Technicians as a prank has crazy glued it to the to the press. <laughs> there you go. Here's the key. Oh, it's the wrong key. It's not the right key is the problem. A pack of cigarettes might look good. Well, here we have a little uh, American development that has had the Russians scratching their heads for a couple of decades. The crush proof box. something from the garden okay so now when you say garden do you mean like vegetable garden uh, flower garden Madison Square Garden oh yeah sure Madison Square Garden no problem <laughs> or not, but can you crush something that's been already crushed? Okay, let me see if I have this uh, correct. You would like to see something crushed that is already crushed. 
Okay, one can of crushed pineapple. I'd like to see something that starts with an X. Uh, something that starts with X? Well, all we have is this little xylophone toy, so I hope you enjoy that. see for yourself that she's still smiling. All right, we'll be right back to talk with uh, Paulina Peretzkova. playing a complete song later in the program. Yes, we are. We certainly look forward Excited to it. Excited about it. Uh, coming up later on tonight's show, uh, you're going to meet uh, Joe Franklin. And uh, as I mentioned, David Sanborn with our band Monday on this program. George Went from Cheers, comedian Paul Reiser, and uh, Sly Dunbar and Robbie Shakespeare. Did I get that right? Yeah. Okay, that'll be good. The Rhythm Twins. Will be if you want to have a, a good time, you can, of course, spend a lot of money going out to fancy restaurants with big floor shows. But I believe... There's more than enough good, wholesome fun to be had with just a few close friends and an 80-ton hydraulic press. It all started with mashing things with a steamroller. Next, dropping things off a five-story tower. Well, tonight, by popular demand, we're in a machine shop somewhere in New Jersey, where, of course, local ordinances permit this sort of thing. We're going to be destroying things with an 80-ton hydraulic press. Yes, once again, a celebration of brute force. How about something for the guys at the plant? How about a six-pack of imported beer? There you are. Enjoy yourselves. Show me something for my end table. How about this lovely little lamp here? Concept. Need we say more? <laughs> Pressure bowling ball. I dare you. Okay, it's come down to this. The dreaded bowling ball. Good luck to everyone. <laughs> See the Sunday New York Times. Yeah, I know what you mean. Look at that. They're way too thick. They, uh, they really ought to be compressed a little bit before they're delivered on Sunday morning. So maybe this will help. Thank God I'm wearing those safety goggles. Nice. 
eraser. Easier to handle. You could actually just put this in your pocket. Get up Sunday morning on your way to church, fold up the paper. You're in for a fine day of reading. Ja byłem nad oceanem, widziałem jak się dzieci bawią w piłkę i również chciałbym się bawić. A beach toy? How about the traditional beach ball? Coś więcej, ale na jaki temat? I'll be in the tunnel. Do you think it's possible for today's woman to raise a child and have a successful career at the same time? Yeah, that's a, that's a very good question, very important issue. I appreciate you asking, but just let me remind you, this, this is not the Phil Donahue show, so you've got the wrong show. I'm, I'm sorry. How about something for dinner? Okay, the typical American meal. Beans and Franks. And the buns. Sure. The typical American meal, beans. Oh, geez, I, I almost forgot. The mustard. the final scene from Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Terminator. Laura with Wu Mechanic. The Nats, it's helping at Aravel finding all the EV this and I'm seeing him here on it. We'll be right back with Joe Franklin. said, give me a long enough lever and a place to stand, and I can move the world. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the program. I'm sorry to have to do this to you, but I have to. NBC has asked me once again to mention that we're going to California Monday. They're so worried they're not going to get their money's worth. <laughs> can you imagine that? <laughs> Us not coming through on a deal like this? <laughs> um, so here, just listen to this guest lineup, and I'll give you a second to get a pencil to uh, jot these down on your forehead. Monday, Monday, uh, the day after Sunday, the day you go back to work, but in this case, don't go back to work because you need all your strength to stay up late to see Monday night, Bo Derek and Stevie Wonder on our show, right? Okay, now, I love this. I love this. It says, later in the week. We have Hugh Hefner and Lee Marvin, Johnny Carson, Andy Griffith. What later in the week, we, uh, later in the week means we have no one for Tuesday. <laughs> is that right? Tuesday is uh, goose eggs, right? We have, who do we have? Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith, no, he's later in the week. <laughs> let me see the card, Kevin. Let me see the, let me see the card. NBC is so concerned they're spending huge amounts of money to send us all out there, and they're so worried that uh, I'm not going to mention it. Now look, Bo Derek and Stevie Wonder, that's Monday, right? Yes. Later in the week. <laughs> Now, you can't tell me that show has been booked. Are there people on that show Tuesday night? Yes. And who are, and who are they? 
Well, no, 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 no. There is Hugh. He's later in the week. See? Oh, my God. It's ugly. Run for your lives. They're going to pull the plug. Dave laughs it up with his guest, Malcolm Forbes. Well, the promo people here are uh, doing a wonderful job. Well, so tune in. Uh, Monday, we'll be coming to you from uh, the Golden State with plenty of guests, and uh, we'll have more about that Tuesday night vacancy for you on Monday. A recent survey reveals that America's top three favorite participatory sports are baseball, bowling, and a surprise third, crushing things with a 50-ton hydraulic press. <laughs> well, the people have spoken, and here is another all-new assortment of items that we had custom-pressed for your viewing pleasure. Archimedes once said, give me a long enough lever and a place to stand, and I can move the world. We here at Late Night have a similar philosophy. It goes like this. Give me an 80-ton hydraulic press, and we can crush anything. Well, that's what we're going to do here in a machine shop somewhere in New Jersey next to the TikTok Diner, a festival of brute force. What can you do to an alarm clock? Well, that's, a, that's an excellent question. What do you do to shut off a noisy alarm clock in the morning? Well, here's what I did. I got one of these 80-ton hydraulic presses, put it right next to the bed. When that happens, you just slide it right under there, and before you know it, you're sound asleep again. Works like a charm. making something flat as a pancake. I get it. You'd like to see something flat as a pancake. Well, how about pancakes? And, uh, oh, a little syrup, sure. from the world of sports. Okay, here we have a little something from the world of sports, the athletic supporter, and of course, the protective cup. Breaking out in a sweat. Oh! That's the sound every football player dreads hearing. the chess club for junior from now on something striped something striped good luck to us all A human head. Uh, I'm sorry, we're, we're not going to do a human head. But uh, how about a Mr. Potato Head? same material that the athletic cup was made from i'd like to see some kind of contest well this will be good scientists have theorized about this one for years and years a competition between the baseball the softball and of course the coconut the ultimate challenge never before tested tonight I remember when 
when I was a kid at home and my mom would do this and if I was real good she'd let me lick the hydraulic press at the end of the day why don't you squash a bug squash a bug sure seems a little juvenile but why not found this one crawling out of Bill Wendell's hair fortunately Bill was nowhere around at the time Come on, do a human head, will you? Folks, please. Uh, I'm sorry, I told you no on the human head. Uh, all right, this is as close as we're going to come. A, a canned ham. But seriously, let's let's knock off that human head stuff, huh? pennies a serving well there you have it uh, another day in a machine shop in new jersey and gosh i hope you enjoy it you know uh i really enjoyed it but time to say goodbye so let's think about all the wonderful things we've learned here tonight and as always good night thank you so much for watching and drive safely was the ambulance with our friend Larry and they're on their way to uh, Fort Lee, New Jersey at the Tom Swift restaurant and, and while we're waiting for them to arrive there, what do we have here? I think anybody who does a talk show keeps one of these. It's, it's my uh, tri-state memory book <laughs> and uh, we're just going to look through a couple of these and gosh, some of the memories that bring back when you, when you look, for example, at blank pieces of cardboard like that. Oh, here it is. Um, yeah, this is great. Oh, you know, this is interesting. This is the, uh, the TikTok Diner. And uh, it's uh, on, uh, uh, I think, near Nutley, New Jersey. And it brings back some wonderful sunlit days in uh, that city with a few close friends and an 80-ton hydraulic press and a, and a truckload of stuff to destroy. Gosh, I remember it all so clearly. It seems as though it were just yesterday. Archimedes once said, give me a long enough lever and a place to stand, and I can move the world. We here at Late Night have a similar philosophy it goes like this give me an 80 ton hydraulic press and we can crush anything well that's what we're going to do here in a machine shop somewhere in new jersey next to the TikTok diner a festival of brute force how about trying to crush something really tough well this is the toughest thing we could think of of course uh tv's mr t <laughs> oh my oh my goodness Something striped. Something striped. Good luck to us all. Cigarettes might look good. Well, here we have a little uh, American development that has had the Russians scratching their heads for a couple of decades. 
the crash proof box. something for dinner. Okay, the typical American meal. Beans and Franks. Sure. And the buns? Sure. The typical American meal, beans. Oh, geez, I, I almost forgot. The mustard. dare you. Okay, it's come down to this. The dreaded bowling ball. Good luck to everyone. Well, there you have it. Uh, another day in a machine shop in New Jersey. And gosh, I hope you enjoy it. You know, uh, I really enjoyed it, but time to say goodbye. So let's think about all the wonderful things we've learned here tonight and as always, good night. Thank you so much for watching. And drive safely. this evening, oh, here I am, is a perfect person to have on this salute to the tri-state area. He is a man who writes and sings about America. He's also from my home state of Indiana. His latest album is called Scarecrow. And tonight, singing Small Town, please welcome John Cougar Mellencamp. <laughs> the same. <laughs> yeah, it is same. Nothing goes to waste here. Yeah, East River. Uh, recently, uh, my staff and I were talking about the future of our country and what we as broadcasters and communicators could do to uplift and inspire our national television audience. Well, it didn't take us very long to decide that what we could do is crush a bunch of different things in a 90-ton hydraulic press. So, here you go, America. The pride is back. I guess a lot of you already have identified this building behind me as being the home of the 80-ton hydraulic press we used a couple of years ago to crush and mash a lot of stuff. Well, we're back tonight, and guess what? This time we have a 90-ton hydraulic press. Why? Why did we increase it 10 tons? I'll tell you why. Because we care about you, the home viewer. Okay, there you go. Trumpet. Brand new. Just for the heck of it. Just a little something for the kids. To, uh, like to thank the members of the Academy. <laughs> when I was an undergraduate, I wrote a paper postulating that if you subjected bananas to 90 tons of pressure, that perhaps they would turn to kind of icky, gooey mush. I was laughed at, frankly. Well, today we're going to find out for sure. I just hate this. You slice the bagel, and then you want them toasted, so you put it into the toaster like that, and, and you can't quite get it down in there. Well, that problem is now a thing of the past, because of this new handy device, the 90-ton hydraulic bagel boy. Here's how it works. We've come across.
came up with something really fun to do with 16 bars of soap. By the way, could you play about 16 bars of soap for me? <laughs> okay, here we go. Run for your lives. invented this just before fireworks from the makers of crazy glue <laughs> we have no idea what's going to happen here perhaps you folks at home ought to take cover as well god bless us all machine i feel terrible about this you you people have been nice enough to let us come out here twice and now we've bent your equipment yep. here nicholas i want you to I want you to have this put it in the family room okay nick what do you think we all set yeah i think you did a nice beautiful repair job back in business yep all right thank you very much okay and folks now a, a scene from everybody's favorite hit movie the color of money We're going to take a little break here from crashing stuff and watch one of our favorite shows. It's our friends across the hall, live at five. There they are. Good evening, Sue. Good evening, Sue. Okay, uh, apparently they're, they're having some technical difficulties. So we'll try and get back to Sue and Jack as soon as we can. Solid, solid entertainment. We'll, uh, we'll be right back with uh, Billy Connolly. Here we'll be on uh, this Friday night, as we will be now every Friday night. And the nice thing about uh, this schedule, now that we're working Fridays, it's uh, it's made this week the longest week of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, later, Jeff Altman will be out here, and of course, we're going to hear a song with uh, Paul and the band, and uh, featuring uh, Babatundi Alatunji on drums. So that'll be nice. And tomorrow on the program, another great show tomorrow. We have a powerlifting demonstration with Helen Leckmeister. Who else? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you want powerlifting, there's only one name as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's Helen Leckmeister. Uh, but I understand the woman is uh, something very unusual about this. She's, she's uh, 81 years old. Helen Leckmeister will be here tomorrow. Uh, also the Neville brothers, they will be with uh, Paul yes. and the band tomorrow. And uh, Tom Hanks will be joining us. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks will be... <laughs> Folks, there, there's absolutely nothing wrong, nothing wrong with Tonight Show, you know. And, and by the way, what did it cost you to get in, huh? All right, if you're going to whine about it, you want to see a little Tom Hanks? All right. Tom, Tom. Just, just say hello to the folks. Am I still coming down here? Yeah, we'll have everybody back tomorrow. On Friday? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Tom. Thank you very much. Are you happy now? Yeah. I just... 
I just, I hate people who whine. Uh, you know, folks, some people say the most powerful force in the universe is love. It's a beautiful thought, but I wonder if these people have ever seen a 90-ton hydraulic press in action. For their benefit, here tonight are the results of some of our recent experiments. Well, there's the TikTok diner here on Route 3 somewhere in New Jersey. As you can see, the motto is eat heavy. It's open 24 hours and they have baking on premises. Oh, those are the worst kind, aren't they? Those baked on premises? <laughs> Here's a little trick I learned from Hall of Fame bowler Don Carter. Works every time. You know, these things are actually full of milk. And, and, and if you're alone on an island somewhere, crack them open and drink the milk. Okay, what's next? Well, it's a, a plate of jelly donuts. It's cute, it's silly, but what the heck, we can do pretty much anything we want. Especially now that all the other talk shows are dropping like flies. <laughs> Okay, this is uh, this one just kind of a little joke here. It's a little bell there. Excuse me, is anyone here? Excuse me, I, I've driven all the way from Milwaukee. Can somebody? Let's see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's nice. Make a lovely brooch, wouldn't it? Very nice. And now, ladies and gentlemen, something we like to call the House of Tomatoes. <laughs> we, we certainly hope you've enjoyed tonight's presentation of the house of tomatoes okay here's what we hope to do the the press itself will actually start the cuisinart and then later the same press with the same pressure will bring it to a halt if we hope some measure of violence <laughs> lovely carrot salad very nice so here we have the uh, tiny ears of corn spaghetti sauce ripe olives uh, cling peaches halves a globe rice pudding and the fruit cocktail it's the fortress of canned goods here we go Schaefer and our wonderful, uh, what's the name of the band? Whatever they are. Paul Schaefer and the, the band. Whatever they are, they are. That's right. Tomorrow on the program, Fred Willard, uh, a wonderfully talented and a very funny guy, will be joining us on the program. Also, Brother Theodore and a gentleman, a gentleman.
Huh? What was that? A, uh, also, Bob E. Bad Fingers Von Murta will be here. Bob Von Murta. Bob Merta. E. Yeah. Recently on trial with Klaus Barbie, I think, wasn't it? <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, boy, Connie is nice, isn't she? She's just lovely. Would that it were, we could have her here every night. I'm telling you, there uh, people would be quitting their jobs to stay up to see Connie. And you know what? Sometimes she doesn't wear a skirt behind the behind 200, the desk. 200 years ago today, 200 years ago today, our founding fathers wisely guaranteed every American's basic freedoms in the Constitution. The world has changed a lot since then, but that great document still protects our most cherished right. The right to crush things in a 90-ton hydraulic press. Al? Okay, this is Route 3 in New Jersey. We're out here next to the TikTok Diner. Inside this building over there is a 90-ton hydraulic press, and we're going to mash and destroy a lot of stuff. But before we do that, take a shot of that guy right over there. Hey, hey, you, hey, get back to work. Get in there. Thank you. Okay, Sylvester Stallone's people have asked us to do some testing on a helmet that will be used in the upcoming production of Rambo 2. Let's see how it holds up here. Actually, the principle behind the old uh, silk top hat. Let's see if we can just pop this one back out. Nope. No, I guess not. Mmm, boy, get ready for mashed potatoes the way Mom used to make them. <laughs> yes, perfect home fries. This is a GE telephone. It's been reconditioned. I bet we don't even scratch this baby. GE. But I bet we don't even dent this thing. Not even a nick. It's a fine General Electric appliance. That's right. It's ready for calls right now. I, I think I hear a call coming in. This probably Robert Wright. There, that's who it is. Robert Wright calling this very minute. He said, junk. Okay, this next one falls into the category rainy day fun. Seven tubes of toothpaste and the hydraulic press. Oh, very nice. This is the, uh, the mint sauce. This, of course, is your sour cream. This is cranberry. Ooh. One of these uh, cute little toys, and you, you say something to it, and, and it says uh, the same thing right back to you. Help me. Help me. I'm, I'm stuck in a hydraulic press. Stuck in a hydraulic press. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm fine, really. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not hurt at all. I'm not hurt at all. Okay, next we have a blender full of guacamole. Let me turn that boy on. Blender full of guacamole. There you go. with Charlie Kerfell from the Houston Astros. Monday on the show, Guido Sarducci will be here. And the uh, first American to climb uh, Mount Everest, uh, Stacy Allison, will be here. That's on Monday. Uh, Ricky Lake, Lou Reed, and John Cale coming up. And we're right in the middle of this uh, tennis. Uh, tennis. I keep, I keep calling it tennis. Obviously, it's chess. That's right. Hello. 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 Hello, Gary. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are things in Belgrade? Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting better. Uh, good. Good. Nice weather? Yes. Better is getting weather, too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's go. What is your move? Oh, my move? Uh, my move? I, I want to take your pawn. 
with my knight. Uh huh. Knight takes bishop's pawn. Yeah, bishop's. And check, oh. check. Oh, so you're going here. Is yes, that... yes, yes. Okay. Very, very close to your king. Oh, so I'm in check here then, right? You're in check, and, and you're, at the same time, your queen's in danger. Oh, well, okay, just one move at a time here. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm going to get out of check. There, I'm out of check. You, ah! have, you have two moves, two possibilities. I can move again? I get a bonus move? No, 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 no wait, wait, wait. One move, but you, you have choice between two moves. Right. Right, well, I, I moved. I moved to the left. I moved over closer to the other thing with the pointy top. To the, le to yeah, the left? Yeah, I moved uh, to the left, yeah. To the left? Yeah, to the left. I moved to the left. I'm over here now. Left, left wing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I moved one over. One over. Okay, have a good weekend. Yes, oh, no, I have a good... My, my weekend is chess again because I'm playing here. All right, well, you know, take some time out for bowling. All right, bye-bye. Okay, and I'll try to finish our game. Okay, thank you. You know, if it weren't for one thing, I'd call this whole game off. What is that? The one, one thing. I know Americans love it. <laughs> they love chess. They love, they love to see this night yeah. after night. Otherwise, After you'd night. call it off. Well, you don't get that kind of action at a rodeo. No, you don't. <laughs> what new technologies will be required for a manned space flight to the planet Venus? Frankly, I have no idea. But I do know what can happen when you go out to an industrial site in New Jersey and drop a 3,000-pound block on a lot of junk. Watch and learn. <laughs> What's the number one problem facing me and every other American homeowner? Well, it's uh, young kids, punks, vandalizing lawn gnomes. Here's how it happens. In the middle of the night, the young kids come to your house with a crane and a 3,000-pound block, and, well, here, watch what happens. What do you think? You had enough, you little weasel? What's the American nightmare? It's right here. A refrigerator full of beer and no opener. Try this. Sure. All we need are pretzels. So uh, while we're out here today, we've been commissioned by the NBA to do some uh, advanced dribbling tests. Take it away, boys. <laughs> Using 90 fluorescent light bulbs, we have created what we feel Abraham Lincoln's log cabin might have looked like had he been really, really energy conscious. You know, it occurs to me now, I'm not even sure that that means anything. And now, ladies and gentlemen, potato salad, the old-fashioned way. It serves about 12. This is a 10-speed bike. Hit it, Dave. All right, we have, uh, I guess, maybe about a... Uh, eight-foot uh, stepladder. Before you use a ladder, there are some uh, regulations and safety precautions you should read uh, posted right there on the side of the ladder. Uh, do not overreach. That's good. Uh, do not stand above this step. They have the step indicated. And make sure all four feet are on a firm, level surface. Oddly enough, it doesn't say anything about crushing with a 3,000-pound block. Well, I think truly this is a bit of Americana. Any construction site anywhere in this country, you see the port of stand there, the port of the toilet. Oh, hi, Larry. Hi. Excuse me, Dave. i got to make a phone call. Yeah, help yourself. Take your time, Larry. Larry, are you all right? Yeah, but I think I twisted my ankle. Uh, are you like me? Do you enjoy television? Let's let's see what's on now. It's uh, looks like one of those uh, afternoon talk things. Oh, it's Geraldo. He's very good. All right. We'll be right back.
match with uh, Ricky Lake. Coming up tonight, Lisa Bonet will be here, and we're going to decorate some cakes with Catherine Ingram now on Monday. You know, we're not on this weekend. Uh, we're off Saturday. We're off Sunday. We'll be back on Monday. We're off this weekend because of NBC's extended coverage of Holiday on Ice. So, uh, Monday, we'll be back with Tom Brokaw and uh, Sam Kinnison, and Wayne and Newton. Well, yes, it was just. By the way, Anton, Will, you guys were great on the tambourine and triangle. <laughs> I've never seen guys working harder. Uh, and now it's time. Oh, my God, kids, look. It's time for TV chess. Right. This is uh, Gary Kasparov. Uh, I'm uh, Dave. We're playing chess, and I'd like to dedicate this to all the ladies out there tonight. Here we go. <laughs> Gary. Hi, Dave. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. You sound pretty good. Uh, did you have a nice day playing chess? Today, today I'm very good mood. I played another long session, six hours, but uh, the agent position is almost winning for me. Uh -huh. You're in the middle of a big yes, turn. Yes. You're in the middle of a... The same, but I only drew, and I was very disappointed. Uh -huh. I see. But are you going to win the tournament? No, I think I, the tournament I've already won, but I'm now fighting for the record. I see. You're going for the record. Well, good, good luck to you. Now, uh, make your move here, Gary. Uh, my move, uh, my move, uh, okay, I will use my rook from the corner. It's a queen corner. Rook to bishop one. Right there? In front of, yes. my, in front of my bishop? Yes, threatening your bishop. Okay. And, uh, possibly this rook will threaten your king, too. Ha! Now, <laughs> get ready for real chess magic. I, I moved my bishop back a couple of white notches. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I want you to think about that over the weekend. Yeah, but I think the next week will be the last one. Ho, ho, ho! Well, we'll just see about that, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> All right, goodbye, Gary. You know, if you're anything like me, and I pray to God you're not, this time of year, you're busy wrapping up leftover stuffing, unpacking the Christmas lights, and driving to an industrial site in New Jersey to drop a 3,000-pound block on a lot of different stuff. Let's now take a look. Uh, even today, I think a lot of people have it in their minds that the uh, game of ping pong is kind of a, a sissy sport. <laughs> uh, not the way we play it, huh, Sandy? <laughs> This is our uh, crane operator, Sandy Fortenberry. Sandy, you're doing a wonderful job here today. Thank you. We had a couple hours to look over the uh, prize wonderland, and we'd uh, like you now to, to pick one of your favorite items that uh, you can crush for us. I think I'd like to crush that canoe. All right, right Sandy's going to go for the canoe. Thank you very much, Sandy. Thank you. Good. good job. All right. Well, now we are going to do something really dangerous. We have caps. We have four or five... Uh, cartons of these uh, caps we put in cap guns and we're going to drop this block on them and it would be irresponsible of me not to mention to you kids at home that when you do this with your own crane and your own 3,000 pound block be very very careful so I'll just put these down and the hell out of here. <laughs> football helmet full of jello Hope you enjoy this, Santa. I am the owner of the world's largest private collection of ceramic monkeys, and, and I thought I would uh, turn loose with one of my pieces here today. And to make it a little more interesting, we have a big pile of bananas.
Boy, it's a, it's a beautiful day to be out camping, isn't it, uh, Larry? Yeah, well, I'm too tired to go hiking with the kids. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, why don't you crawl on the oh, tent then right. and take a nap? Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll wake you for dinner. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah. Right. I'm going to zip you up here. I'm talking about the tent. Oh, well, oh thanks a yeah, lot. Okay. Sleep tight. What the hell was that, David Raccoons? Yeah, we, we don't know. We're going to check with the ranger. Oh, Might oh, have been a possum. Oh. Come on, get out of there. There you go. Oh, wait a minute. I, I, I hope it didn't hurt your glasses. Hi, kids. Listen, thank you very much for coming. I hope everything's all right. Are you enjoying yourselves? That's good. You look terrific. Gee, I wonder what could be keeping the soup. I, I, I tell you what, I'm going to go check in the kitchen real quick, and, and I'll be right back. You're lovely. All right. Enjoy yourselves. I'll be right back. It's just getting better and better. Can it you does. feel it? Yeah! It's, it'll, it'll do that. <laughs> it'll absolutely do that. Uh, we got a big weekend coming up. We won't be on uh, tomorrow. We won't be on Saturday. No. We won't, we won't be on Sunday. We'll be back Monday. Yes, we we're, will. We're off because of NBC's Olympic coverage. Ah, I see. And we're back on Monday. Sugar Ray Leonard will be here. Uh, Jerry Garcia and Bob Weir. That'll be the big program on Monday. Come on back and join that program if you can. Yeah! yeah! Yes! Just like Marv Albert does that. Yes! Yes, he does. Uh, people ask me, Dave, what do you, what do, you do to relax? And, uh, well, you know, I tell them that I uh, like to read. Uh, I like to take uh, long walks on the beach and, and in the woods. And I like to have a 115-ton diesel locomotive uh, running into things. Relax with me now, won't you? Yeah, you know what I'd like to do now is share something with you that I've really never told anybody, uh, especially in the last 10, 15 years. It's something that happened at my wedding reception. It had something to do with a, a beautiful ice sculpture of this graceful dolphin. It's still kind of a painful memory. Oh, no. Honey! The kids have filled our chest of drawer with shaving cream again. Oh, man. How do we as American consumers know that the electrical appliances we buy for use in our homes are safe? Well, thank God they're all tested by independent research groups. And as a matter of fact, uh, one of these groups is getting ready now to test an assortment of general electric light bulbs. Let's watch. This should be fairly educational. Hey, Larry, nice to see you. How's it going? All right, I'm kind of exhausted. You're exhausted? Well, you know, I think it's the committee. Why don't you take a nap before the next oh, train comes? All right. There you go. I'll tuck you in. All right. Yeah, get yourself a little nap. You're going to feel like a new man. You'll be completely refreshed. There you go. Okay. All right. Sleep Thank tight. You. Sure. Good luck. Thank you. Larry, are you all right? Uh, uh, yeah. You all right? Knock the wind out all of right, me. All right, come on. No one to blame but yourself. You know, I've thrown a lot of pencils through a lot of windows over the years, and if I've learned one thing, it would be that... Oh, screw it. You know, come to think of it, I really haven't learned anything.
who has worse luck than I do. It must be 95 degrees out here. I'm having lunch, and I would love to enjoy an ice cold beer. Uh, we have no opener. Oh, God, please perform some sort of miracle, won't you? Representing the true spirit of the holiday of Christmas is this lovely decorated Christmas tree. Representing the over-commercialization of this holiday will be a 115-ton diesel locomotive. We're hoping to win some kind of an award for this. You know, when I was in high school and I couldn't get even one girl to speak to me, and my guidance counselor referred to me as a loser. Well, then I decided that one day I would become so powerful that if I wanted to, I could run a 110-ton locomotive through 18 fish tanks filled with guacamole. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day of reckoning. Yeah. Okay. All right, we ready? noticed when uh, John Doe was out here with his guitar players and stuff that your saxophone player left the studio. Well... Yeah. What's the matter, Sanborn? You yella? I couldn't take it. <laughs> okay, take a look at this. Watch, look. It does little tricks. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, coming up in this half hour, the fresh Prince Will Smith will be joining us as his brand new primetime network television show. Yeah, wait a minute. Are you saying that the Fresh Prince is Will Smith? That's right here. The Fresh Prince, Will Smith, will be here. So he's not the Fresh Prince at all. He's Will Smith. Well, no, he's Will Smith, the Fresh Prince. Oh, he's Will Smith, the Fresh Prince. Yeah, yeah. Well, why does it say that the Fresh Prince, Will Smith? Or does it really make it much difference? Nah, it doesn't make it. Uh, the Cabbage Lady, Judith Hyatt. You have something to say about that? No, nothing. No, sir, nothing Shouldn't that be Judith Hyatt, the cabbage lady? No, sir, I have nothing, no and, line for And that. you know those cabbage patch things are very, very hot now. So she's just going to... Cabbage be... patch doll. Yeah, that's what this is. Is that what she is? Oh, she, she makes cabbage girl. patch dolls? Exactly. What's the matter, Sanborn, you yellow? No. <laughs> I know, we're late, ain't we? Uh, Bruce Willis will be here on Monday, ladies and gentlemen, and also uh, world chess champion Gary Kasparov uh, will be on the program now. Like most people who live in a big city, every now and then I like to get away for a while. And when I do, I head for some place where there's fresh air, trees, and a 115-ton diesel locomotive. Here, take a look. Watch carefully. You know, if you're thinking of opening a roadside melon stand, I can tell you from personal experience that there really are only three important things to consider. Location, location, location. Hi, I'm Nelson Burton, Jr. for the PBA. Uh, more and more we find that uh, what the beginning bowler is not doing is putting enough force or power behind the ball itself. Uh, watch this. Well, it was, a, it was a lovely ceremony, truly very, very beautiful, and, and Gene and Roger have never looked happier. Now it's, it's time to cut the cake. I'm so happy I don't, I don't know what to say. Now, ladies and gentlemen, ten sheets of brightly colored glass. This is just for the kids, really. Okay, folks, three words says it all. Giant domino fun. Here we go.
faster than a speeding bullet. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. Uh, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Yeah, I have to go along with that. Uh, more powerful than a locomotive? Well, see, there's where I have some trouble. This is what we have, uh, some ceramic items, some uh, lamps, a, a pyramid of uh, peanut brittle, uh, a lovely assortment of uh, cheap pottery crap, some beautiful custom-made storm windows, and again, a very nice assortment of melons. This is Warren Littlefield. He's the new man in charge of all of NBC programming. He just took the job. It's a, a real promotion for him, and I'm sure you'll have many long, happy years uh, here at the network. Uh, well, if you'll excuse me, I, I think your next appointment is here. Good luck. Nice to meet you. Let me know if I can help. You know, I guess you really could describe Saturday mornings at my house in two words. Bunkhouse flapjacks. Here's the recipe. 100 pounds of flour, 50 gallons of milk, 12 dozen eggs, some butter, of course the syrup, but the secret is you have to make sure you beat it really well. read this little message here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a dangerous thing to do. It should not be imitated. It was performed with permission under special circumstances. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be right back with the fresh print.